it's not many people that I've ever like talked to mm. that had to like, and I'm going to be very frank. We can do whatever. You had to you had to prove truth right in a very mm. real way that I've never like ever firsthand had a, a conversation with somebody who's been through that yeah. right where it, and it's all connected. I'm assuming to even the people you were around. Like you went through something that lasted quite some time. And you went to trial and you had to be connected to a polygraph test and mm -hmm. literally go, I mean, can, that, to be, to have to prove your truth, what, can you just tell me what that feels like genuinely? I mean, yeah, I feel like for anybody going through a situation like it's that. It's all we have, right? Like, is our yeah. honesty. Yeah, yeah, of course. And like, yeah, I mean, like, I'm not going to say my situation was any worse than anybody else's, but when you're in front of like the whole world and then something like that happens and they start calling you something that you're not like, it definitely feels like a million times, like, like worse than like anything I could imagine. But I definitely, I mean, it was, it was a blessing in, in disguise. Like at first, obviously I didn't think it was like something I needed to go through. And like, I was like upset that I even had to go through something like that. But then I like, there was, there was a lot of things I learned from it and like things that I would like better myself just, after like going through something like that, cause like, like I obviously don't ever want to go through something like that again. And like, just live, just like the people I was around and like the situations I put myself into, like something like that came from that. So like, it's also falls on me that I have to surround myself around the right people. And like, I have to do the right things with my life. And, totally. Like, but by the way, like those are things you learn as you exist in this world, yeah, yeah. right? Like, I feel like no matter what, like who, yes, yeah, no matter what, like you're gonna go through things that's gonna teach you to uh, do this and not that. Oh my god, a hundred percent, and understanding that the people that you you choose to have around aren't necessarily the people you think they may be, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I think a lot of things happen in our life where we get clouded, and we may see the best in people and give people the time of day and way too much of ourselves and trust and time or what have you, and. That can lead into some shitty things. But yeah. by the way, everybody goes through that in their own way. Every situation yeah, yeah, yeah. is different, you know? Yeah, yeah. Realizing that people who you thought were good people are actually totally pieces of shit. Yeah, yeah. And could be the worst forms of human beings. Yeah. Yeah, like, I've never, like, tried to, like, you know, even speak on the person that was saying that about me. Because, like, at the end of the day, you know, people go through things and people say things that obviously it's not true. But... I just know, like, people do go through that. Like, there's actually yeah. a lot of people that do go through that. So I, the, I was also able to learn, like, a lot about the— because I obviously, like, you know, as especially being a man, like, you don't really think about, like, like women that go through that. But after going through that, I've learned and I've, like, went to different— like, I've met with charities and I've, like, talked to people and, like, learned a lot about the what goes on in this world. And, like, there's so much stuff that we don't know about that is, like— it was. I'm glad I was able to to really f see. Yeah. Like I don't know. I, Cause now I have like, in my heart, like I have sympathy for a lot of people that I didn't even really know existed. Mm -hmm. That I see like this happens every day, like on a true, like, for yeah, for a lot of people. So it's like it's sad. It's sad. And by the way, I was referencing more the. I don't know the full. I I was literally. I don't know the full scope of it. There's. I. The information I have is very limited in what's on the internet. Yeah. I was more talking about the person you were with because it was you and one other guy, correct? Mm -hmm. Well, it was a it was a party, so it was a lot of people. There was like 30, 40 people there. And, and it happened. Yeah, and like I wasn't even near the. I wasn't even near the situation that happened, and so like. Really. Yeah, I wasn't. So it's like. I just got, my name just got brought up into it, and so I got dragged into it too, but, um, yeah, I mean. I was like, how do you view those two years? Do you feel like it was two years of your life that was wasted, or do you feel like it was something like everything happens for a reason type situation? Yeah, I mean, for, for definitely for a, a, a long time, I was, like, I was, like, upset, and, like, I felt like, I felt like I didn't deserve it, and, like, I still don't know if I deserved it to that extent, but clearly I needed to go this, through something like mm -hmm. that to, to like, change some of the things I needed to change for myself, to even to have, like, a long-lasting life and career. Like, because I just feel like if you spend every day not focused on, like, what truly matters, like, for yourself, it's going to catch up to you one day, so... 
it was I mean I think I think I needed to learn some lessons from it mm-hmm. I don't know if it needed to be that harsh but yeah for real but it happened so there's nothing really so no, you, you were genuinely just at a party and you had no interaction with these two and you got r- roped into this no I mean we was around each other all night but like whenever this happened like I was nowhere around yeah the situation so yeah I mean I was there I was in the I was in the and at the party, but like whenever the situation happened, I wasn't there. Got it. So I mean, I mean that's that's why I was found innocent. But yeah, you, and you're the most famous person at the party. Yeah, your name comes up. Interesting. Really sorry that that happened to you. Sorry. Thank you. What's it like going through this, seeing everybody on the internet attacking you, trying to bring you down, and you're just sitting there like, oh, it wasn't me. Is yeah, it hard to I deal mean, with? It's tough because I mean I don't I like I didn't know the best way to deal with it and like like I didn't know like if I should like go on the internet and be like this wasn't me like da 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 and like so I just I just did the first thing I could think of and I just like just went just deleted Instagram and I was like I just gotta stay away from this and I didn't leave my house for like two months <laughs> I didn't leave my house I was like I'm and then the first time I left my house I was like just uh forget where I was but then like people started yelling some shit at me and I was like damn like so I went back in the house I didn't come out for like another two <laughs> weeks I was like wow this shit's crazy because I, I didn't I couldn't tell through how real it was and then mm-hmm. I went outside for the first time and it was real and it was real so I was like all right let me go back inside <laughs> and then like I don't know just slowly I just started like all right let me just go here go there let me talk to this person and then I finally started getting over it but it was it was tough at first but I kind of got used to it do you care about letting the world know that you took a polygraph and you passed with flying colors? I mean, like... And the I, justice system and all the scales of justice in our society have found you not guilty. I mean, of course I'd want the world to know that. I mean, because I feel like after all the bad things that came yeah. on the internet, none of the... Like, a lot of the good stuff didn't ever pop back up for people, and that's like that's just how the internet works. So that's why I never really, like, kind of stressed it because I just know, like, that's just how it works. But, of course, like, but I just try to move on now. Like, what? I'm, I'm a, well, you're moving on through your music, right? Literally, yeah, yeah. quite literally moving on through your music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In that moment, what do you think? Do you think that, like, you're going to fight this and win or do you think that, like... I mean, there was no other way. Like, it's the truth. I feel like the truth has to come back to light. Like, the truth has to be... In some type of favor, like totally, and, and but also there's many cases, yeah, in our society yeah. where it just doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I know that's true. But I just you know try to keep my head up and stay positive you have to. the best way I could. But also I was dealing with it for like two, three years. So like by then, like I was just I've already been through all the emotions and been through everything. That, like obviously when you actually go into the courthouse and like sit there and like hear stories of like the like. Just made it was it was crazy. I'm like I don't want to talk about it too much, but um, you're like it, it hits you, it hits you again like a lot different when you're actually in in the in the room hearing all this stuff. Yeah, I get you 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 re you either like <laughs> relive it or hear for the for the first time out of. I was sitting mouth. there like, what? What is this? What are you talking about? I was. I'm just glad the jury. Saw it like I did because mm-hmm. that was it was it was not it was not <laughs> it didn't even sound right it was crazy, and there was people that came that was there and said he was with me because I was with other people at the time that they said this happened like so like and those people obviously came and said like no it's just there's no way there's no way. Do you ask in that moment why you? Of course, I've definitely I asked that a bunch of times why like why like why do I have to go through this shit but. I just learned like asking those questions like doesn't really solve anything. Mm-hmm. So it's yeah, but I mean, I think I I mean at the end of it though, like where I'm at now, like I'm 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 cool with it. Like I know like in like I feel like I'm a better person today than I was two years ago, three years ago. So and I think I'm I'm able to spread like a, a better positive message. And I just think mentally like like. Just where I'm at today is just a lot like healthier and more positive. So I think like 
it kind of turned me into like a person that can be better for my fans and like the people I care about. So I think it, it worked out at the end of it.